Amo. Um, uh, hey, if somebody, if somebody as big as Dangote, they cry for Nigeria now as they talk to you, my brother, hey, hey, there is no hope for the common man. Make I just tell you the truth. There is no hope again. If Dangote, they cry. <laughs> ah, God. If they can frustrate Dangote, you know, say, Sometimes for the country, we could just say, ah, all those ones, as far as say they come from the north there, they are northerners. That means they are untouchable, they are doing whatever they like. Um, <laughs> this one, when that go take on me now, he tell me, he say, oh boy, waiting at the sea, eh? Don't be smart, you know. I say, eh? Even though you come from the north, he say, yes, yeah, so even though you know people you will be Kaba, he say, yes, yeah, so say Kaba, don't send anybody. I saw you yeah, tell me waiting, they tell you. Now, nah, right time. They say Ali Kodangote offers to sell 650,000 BPD oil refinery to an MPC. Why is he selling this refinery now? Now because of frustration when the Nigerian government give him. Dangote talks say in the Ige time when a friend come tell and say making no investing money for Nigeria, make a coin invest them abroad. Saying tell and saying they patriotic to the country. Now you go invest in money for Nigeria. Say today in the in the regret that action. Say your friend now don't they call them they show and say they see waiting and they tell you that time. So how will Nigeria grow since everybody inside it is being frustrated by the same cabals? Hmm. We have been facing fuel crisis since the seventies. This refinery can help in resolving the problem. Okay? But it does appear some people are uncomfortable that I am there. I am in the picture. Alright? So I am ready to let go. Let the NMPC buy me out. Run the refinery. So that they go see the gain and the losses when they inside. Now waiting a whole damn good day. They talk. They say Dangote na Sabutua. Say in the block they are rude. That is the people milking Nigeria. Say as in don't bring this refinery now. Say uh if like I say the man will stabilize the economy with him fuel now, fuel go come day cheap in Nigeria. But all those cabals will be saying that then they run that oil business. They know what made Dangote because if Dangote day, we go question, say, why are we not refining in Dangote's uh, uh, refinery? Why we still they carry and they go abroad? Whereby, after they don't use the better fuel abroad, we refine them, they will carry the bad fuel, consent, come Nigeria. Now, I make, they no one make uh, Dangote continue to the running business. Dangote now is out of business, as I they talk to you. After they condemned even his patrol. Talk say the ten is no good. Say the, the petrol is no good. No be better one. Now the dirty way that they pack from Obodo Iba abroad come back to Nigeria. Now that one be the better thing. Nigeria kwa no. Oh, our government. Muna here when Dangote, they lament. A whole Dangote. Let me say, well, I do. If somebody as big as Dangote can lament, that means there is no hope. The real picture. Okay, that's one. Number two, this country has been having petrol queues since when majority of you here were not even born, since 1972. Okay, so 72 to date is what? 52 years. And we are still having the same issue. Mm -hmm. So just for the fact that, yes, we are ready and about to start uh, this, you know, everybody is now uh, up and about. Yes, but we know that what is giving us uh, the, you know, a lot of joy is that we know that the majority of the population there with us. And so we are not discouraged. We will continue what we are doing. But you know, new doing new business like you know which we announced this still. Actually, our own board has decided that no, we shouldn't do this still because if we do it, we'll be called all sorts of names, monopoly, and then also imports will be encouraged. So we don't want to go into that. Let other Nigerians also go and do it because we are not the only Nigerians here. There are maybe some Nigerians with even more cash than us. They should bring that money from Dubai, from other parts of the world, to come and invest in our own fatherland. Well, everything depends on uh, NMPC because the OB3 is their own gas pipeline. 
majority of the gas that has been produced is, you know, I mean, it's been produced from their own facilities. Uh, our own uh, has not really started yet, but we are doing other, you know, uh, you know, other pipelines uh, in Bayelsa to bring, uh, you know, to take the gas to Otorobu to process and now inject it into the Alps. Uh, once we do that, then it will add to the uh, viability of our investment and also to make sure that, yes, we have additional gas not only for us, for the entire system. But I'm sure OB3 will address all these issues and uh, we'll continue to pray that the OB3 will be delivered as promised, which is end of July. Yeah, well, in terms of uh, quality, when we started, you know, uh, our quality was about 600 to 650 ppm. And uh, the 600 to 600, 600 to 650 ppm is one of the best in terms of quality. Okay, at that time when we started, but as of today, we are 87 ppm. And I assure you, uh, media, you can come again and take sample on Monday. By Monday, latest Tuesday will be at 50 ppm by beginning of August will be at 10 ppm. So in terms of quality, we are doing very, very well. Nobody can produce anything better than uh, us. So uh, I just got the result from him. Five minutes ago, we are now down to even 32 ppm. And I want to uh, plead with the regulator to come at any time, whether Sunday, or Monday, we'll take the sample and I guarantee you before he gets here, our own PPM will be even below 10. Uh, when we are coming here, the uh, His Excellency, the Speaker said that, no, can we please wait? Uh, it wasn't planned, but he said that we should wait since we have media with us to pick up samples from two filling stations and also when we get into our plant, they will pick up samples to check. The result has actually come out, and I'm going to share the, these same results you know, with you because they've checked there is a total. Total uh, PPM was 1,890 something. I'll give you the paper. And they can also, you know, come, which was picked from the station there. The matrix also came to 2,653. And uh, but then uh, the uh, flash point uh, matrix was 61, which is below the minimum. The minimum is 66, and then also total is uh, 20, even six uh, flash point. Uh, our own flash point is actually 96, and the records are there. If you want to do the test. At any given time, you can actually run this test. We don't believe in the test of people when they bring in ships because those uh, tests, you know, you know, people write fake things. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, even during COVID, people were writing fake uh, COVID certificates. So, you know, this, all the results, if they want real results, they should go to SGS or Kotekna. They will give them the real certificate. But the right thing to do for Nigeria is to go to the filling station. And we want anybody to go to any filling station and buy. We'll test for you free of charge. It takes us a maximum of five to ten minutes. We'll give you all the parameters. And our own parameters today, we want to announce to the Nigerians, it is extremely very good parameters. Uh, we've left that 600. We are not at 600 anymore. You want to comment okay. about the PMS, um, when the PMS are, will be outputted? Well, um, just uh, like you rightly asked, there are a lot of concerns about uh, uh, supply of petroleum products nationwide and the claims by some media houses that uh, were trying to scuttle Dumbote Refinery. That is not so. Dumbote Refinery is still in the pre-commissioning stage. It has not been lessened yet. We haven't lessened them yet. They are selling three functioning. I think they are about 45% completed, complete, in completion rather. So we cannot rely heavily on one refinery to feed the nation. 
because the Kankole is, Kankole is requesting that we should suspend or stop all importation of petroleum products, especially AGO and KTRO, mm -hmm. and direct all marketers to, to the refinery. Mm -hmm. That is not good for the nation mm -hmm. in terms of energy security, mm -hmm. and that is not good for markets mm -hmm. because of uh, monopoly. So, in terms of quality, uh, currently the AGO quality in terms of sulfur is the lowest and far as uh, West African requirement of 50 ppm. Dangote refinery, as well as some major refineries, like uh, Walter Smith's refinery, RD refinery, they produce between 650 to 1,200 ppm. So in terms of quality, their quality is much, much inferior to the imported quality. Thank you, Thank you very much. All right, I'm on. I don't see where the Wahala they come from. Uh, so this one now, now, the government, this is how they are sabotaging he hold down go the way make the man now don't frustrate talk say you go sell in refinery you go sell and give nigeria made in the use say they are wahala they no go free fire with their own wahala stop all importations and focus on our local refinery focus now since nigeria no fee build then go they don't build them now on a still one snatch them from him before you know it now they will run the 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 refinery aground and we now only based on uh, importation we will now depend only solely on importation you know go nah, eh, this country eh? if dan gote can complain eh? if dan gote can complain that they are frustrating him my brother my sister ronu ronu eh, may god no let them see those uh Ale no you know what did they, they do them they are press they are federal government press Press them. We'll go another news, an official.